From the dawn of history, the Emerald Isle of Sri Lanka has been famous for its verdant hills, beautiful beaches, vibrant culture, and the beaming smiles of its people. The rich diversity of flora and fauna makes Sri Lanka unique, but nothing quite as unique as its native drink, Arak. Arak is a spirit distilled from toddy, which is brewed from the fermented sap of the coconut flower. The end result is a very fresh, aromatic beverage that is unrivaled by any other and has been enjoyed throughout the ages and is probably the most natural alcoholic beverage in the world. For centuries, Arak was brewed on a small scale, but at the beginning of the 20th century, distillation became commercialized. It was during the year 1913 that the remarkable story of DCSL begins. Over a hundred years ago, the Excise Department of Ceylon, which was created as the enforcement authority to distribute and sell liquor on the island, branched out into distillation and manufacture of liquor products. In 1974, the State Distilleries Corporation was incorporated to take over this venture. Then in 1989, it was converted into a limited liability company as the Distilleries Company of Sri Lanka, or DCSL. And finally, in 1992, DCSL was sold to the highest bidder on the Colombo Stock Exchange and a consortium of investors led by Mr. Harry Jawardana completed this landmark transaction. The new management began to introduce the latest manufacturing techniques and machinery, new strategies, training and research and development. And the company was on a remarkable transformative journey that converted a government entity to a highly diversified business conglomerate in Sri Lanka. facility supplied by Krohn's of Germany, which is the world's leader in the field. This facility, named the Extra Special Heritage Arena, is one of the most advanced in South Asia, providing an improved capacity with superior, unmatched quality to its customers. DCSL entered into a joint venture with Pernod Ricard Group of France to form Perisil Private Limited to manufacture locally made foreign liquor and to introduce their wide range of beverages to Sri Lanka. In 2006, the joint venture with Pernod Ricard ended by mutual agreement and Perisil became a wholly owned subsidiary of DCSL to continue the business of manufacturing locally made foreign liquor. Over the years, the company diversified and expanded into many sectors of the Sri Lankan economy. This diversification provided strength and stability to the group and represents the economic powerhouse we see today. DCSL has experienced unparalleled growth in the last 25 years. It is a Fitch AAA rated company and one of the first Sri Lankan companies to be listed in the Forbes Best Under a Billion. It is consistently listed among the top 10 publicly traded entities by the Business Today magazine. The group currently employs over 12,600 people and also plays its part as a responsible citizen, being one of the biggest revenue contributors to the Sri Lankan economy, with over 500 billion rupees paid in taxes over the last 25 years. And last year, in 2016, the DCSL Group restructured itself, forming Nelster Corp as its holding company, with a market capitalization of 75 billion rupees, becoming the sixth largest company in Sri Lanka.
It has been an exhilarating journey of 103 years, the last 25 of which was characterized by corporate excellence achieved under the current management and would not have been possible without the support of our people who must be recognized at this occasion. The company continues to experience rapid growth and expansion, creating exciting new opportunities to explore new markets and to take its brands globally. The Distilleries Company of Sri Lanka.